In this tutorial, I'm talking about Adobe Illustrator artboards. So how do we create a project that already has multiple artboards in it? How do you create a new artboard once you've already had a project open? And then also, how do you edit the size of an artboard that's already existing? Let's get straight to it. Let's get straight into Adobe Illustrator. And when you want to create multiple artboards from the beginning, all you have to do is go up to File, New. This new document module will pop up. This is where you control the settings of your document. And right here, easy enough, it says Number of Artboards. You can click that up to however many you want. And then to the right of that, it shows the layout of those options. So if we want four artboards, it can organize it by row, going from right to left and then down to the next row, up to down and then over to the next column. It could just be a row, it could just be a column, um, or you can just change the right to left layout. Below that you have spacing and this is going to be the spacing between the artboards and I suggest leaving it at 20 or increasing it if you want a lot of space between your artboards. This doesn't affect your design at all, it's just when you're editing and designing something in Illustrator it's easy to kind of edit when there's a little bit of space between your artboards. It's as if you were painting canvases or painting on pieces of paper and they were right next to each other so you could barely see the edge and that might be a little bit confusing. And then you can change the number of columns. You can also change the size and width of your artboard. Now they do it by points because Illustrator you design using vector and that means that it's not a particular pixel, it's not inches or it's not when you design something that's 500 points by 500 points it's not saying that if you increase it or decrease it it's going to get pixelated vector however much you increase the size of it um, after you've designed it it will still be super sharp and so width and height is more about the aspect ratio of your design so are you creating something that's really wide uh, some sort of text logo or are you creating something that's square like a icon or a square logo so just change that point in the width and height option depending on what aspect you want so once you do that just hit OK and as you can see we have four artboards 20 points apart and so we can easily start designing alright so say you have this and you do some designs and you want to add a new artboard how do you do that well there's this artboard tool you can press shift O or just click down here and when you do that you see that these artboards kind of highlight and the edges change now first you can edit the size of these artboards by just clicking and dragging the corner or in the middle of one of them you can create a new artboard by just going to the gray area and clicking and dragging but this is kind of hard to know exactly how big to create an artboard so one thing you can do is with this artboard tool selected press alt or option on your keyboard and then click one of your artboards and drag and I'm holding down alt or option depending if, if you're a Mac or a PC user and I'm just dragging it over to the side if you hold down shift while you are doing this it locks it to that height so it you can't really if you're just using option and clicking and dragging you can kinda of put it anywhere but if you are let me undo that if you are okay hitting option clicking and then shift it locks it to that axis so that you can create it and move it exactly evenly with this row and then we can take this new one click Alt, or hold Alt Option first, Alt, then click, and then hold Shift while you're dragging and drag it down. So that's pretty darn easy. And that's basically how you create new artboards from existing artboards. And so say you have something designed in here. Let's just design something really quickly. This awesome square rectangular design. And then we take our artboard tool you can actually when you duplicate this artboard you're actually duplicating the design and this is great if you want to create multiple iterations of a logo 
or, and you want to just see what a different font might look like or different colors, you can duplicate those artboards and basically compare side by side and make edits without having to create a new tab or create a new project. And that's the beauty of artboards in Adobe Illustrator. You can really work on multiple projects or multiple iterations of a design without opening up multiple projects or having to make things invisible or deleting them or anything else that you might have to do in something like Photoshop. And that's why Adobe Illustrator is great for designing. So I hope you learned a lot about using artboards in Adobe Illustrator. Illustrator is a very complex program and I, I still don't know half of what you can do in Adobe Illustrator, but using artboards is a great way to dive in and get started. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, please subscribe. Really appreciate it if you subscribe and you'll get lots of great new tutorials every week, every month, lots of great new stuff. So check out videoschoolonline.com for more full courses and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.